We all know that median is the middle value in a data set, but you see, we will be dealing with data set that are organized in a frequency distribution table. So how are we going to obtain the median of a group data? Let's see. Minus two by minus three, six by in computing for the median of group data, the following formula is used. It looks complicated, but I'll be helping you break down yung mga components ng formula. Okay, so the median is equal to, we have here like LB and we have a subscript MC. Yung MC na yun, yun ang median class, okay? LB is lower boundary, so if we are going to read this, this is the lower boundary of the median class. Plus, okay, we have here summation of F over 2. Ito kasi yung magiging basis ng median class. Always remember kasi na yung median, yun yung middle value. Okay? Minus the less cumulative frequency. Okay, we will be looking into that later all over the frequency of the median class. And then we're going to multiply it to the class size. Okay, so class size, yun lang naman yung kung gaano kalaki ang isang interval. Okay, so we can obtain the class size simply by counting. So let's have an example. Given the group data, calculate the median of the mid-year tests scores of students in math. Okay, we have here the scores, we have here the class intervals with their corresponding frequencies. Okay, ang unang gagawin mo is to add two columns, kagaya din nung ginawa natin sa pagkuha ng mean ng group data, nagdagdag tayo ng dalawang columns, at yung dalawang columns na yun ay para kina lower boundary at less cumulative frequency. So the lower boundary or the lower true class boundary, we can obtain this by simply subtracting 0.50 from the lower limit. So yung lower limit natin dito is 16. And sabi ko nga, to get the lower boundary, just subtract 0.50 from the lower limit. So 16 minus 0.50 is 15.50. Next, 21 minus 0.50, that is 20.50, and so on. So, ganun. Subtract ka lang ng 0.50 sa lower limit, and then you complete the column. Okay, so we're done with the lower boundary. Now, let's go to the less cumulative frequency. Okay, yung less cumulative frequency na to is that we're going to just add the frequencies, okay? So, less cumulative frequency, magsisimula tayong mag-add from the lowest interval. Basta less cumulative frequency, we will be adding the frequency starting from the lowest class interval, okay? So, ito yung lowest class interval, yung 16 to 20 na to. Yung frequency ng lowest interval is 2. So, dito tayo magsisimulang mag-add, okay? So, always remember kapag ka less cumulative frequency, magsisimula tayong mag-add from the frequency of the lowest interval, okay? Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na greater cumulative frequency kung saan magsisimula kang mag-add from the frequency of the highest interval. Okay? So, yung kailangan natin dito is yung less cumulative frequency. So, we copy the frequency of the lowest class interval. So, that's 2. And then, we are going to add 2 to the next frequency. So, 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 14 is 23. 23 plus 8 is 31. 31 plus 8 is 39. And 39 plus 1 is 40. So, yan. To know if your answer is correct, i-add mo lahat yung frequency. Dapat kung in-add mo lahat yung frequency, dapat yung sum ay 40.
Okay, so na-fill out na natin yung lower boundary at saka yung less cumulative frequency. The next thing we're going to do is to identify the median class. Kasi kung babalikan natin yung ating formula, kailangan natin yung lower boundary ng median class at kailangan din natin yung frequency ng median class. So, kailangan natin malaman yung median class. Pero ano ba ang basihan ng median class? So, it's here. The median class is the class with the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to the summation of f over 2. The computed median must be within the median class. Okay, so balik sa table, kailangan muna nating malaman yung summation of f over 2 para malaman natin yung median class. But before that, kailangan muna nating isolve yung summation of F. And to get the summation of F, i-add lang muna natin lahat ng mga nasa F column or sa frequency column. So if we're going to add all this, the answer will be 40. So yung summation of F over 2, we will um, simply divide 40 by 2. And so the answer is 20. So, balikan natin yung sa formula, no? Sabi dito, the median class is the class with the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to summation of f over 2. So, we are going to look at the this column at hahanapin natin dito yung greater than or equal to summation of f over 2. Ang summation of f over 2 natin dito is 20. Alin ba dito? Sa column na to, ang greater than or equal to 20. So if you're going to look at this, ito yung mga numbers greater than or equal to 20. Pero yung kailangan natin dito is yung smallest cumulative frequency greater than. Okay, so alin ba dito yung smallest cumulative frequency greater than 20? It's actually 23. So guys, ito ang ating median class. Ulitin ko, yung summation of f over 2 natin is 20 and tingnan natin yung cumulative frequency column. Alin dyan? Yung smallest cf greater than or equal to 20. And the smallest cf greater than 20 is 23. Kasi lahat ito, yung apat na to, they are all greater than 20. Pero yung Kailangan natin doon is yung smallest number greater than or equal to 20. So I hope you're following. So now alam na natin yung median class. Okay, that's the median class. And I think ready na tayo na mag-substitute sa ating formula. Okay, so the median now is equal to the lower boundary of the median class. So, tingnan mo sa median class, ano dyan ang lower boundary? It is 25.50. We're going to add it to, okay, nasolve na natin yung summation of f over 2. Yung summation of f over 2 natin is 20. Okay, less cumulative frequency, pero... Pero ulit, ano ba yung tinutukoy na less cumulative frequency sa so formula? No, kung babalikan natin yung formula, sabi dito, this is the cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class. Okay, medyo complicated talaga ang pagkuhan ng median. So yung isa-substitute natin dito is yung CF of the lower class next to the median class. Now, if you're going to look at this, ito ang ating median class. Hindi si 23 ang isa-substitute natin, kundi yung CF ng lower class next to the median class. Okay, so ano ba yung lower class just below the median class? It's actually 9. So yung isa-substitute natin sa formula is not 23. But the cumulative frequency of the lower class just next to the median class. Ito yung lower class just next to the median class. Okay, so I hope that if you will be getting the median of the group data, please don't forget these things, okay? Nandito ang ating formula and yung mga components ng ating formula. So please read that one before substituting Okay, so ang isa substitute natin dito is 9. 
and the frequency of the median class. Okay, so hanapin dito yung median class. Ano ang frequency ng median class? That is 14. Okay, and ang ay na to, this is the class size. This is, this is how wide the class interval is. So, okay, ito ang ating class interval. So, sabi ko nga kanina. So, sabi ko kanina, we can obtain the class size simply by counting. So, paano ba? So, ito ang ating class interval. So, pili ka lang ng isa. Paparehas din lang naman yung mga class size na mga yan. I'll be, sige, piliin po na to. To get the class size, simply count starting from 16. Okay, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yung class size natin is uh, 5, okay? It's 5. Okay, so now we can simply uh, do this in the calculator. Pwede na tong idiretso sa calculator. 29.5. Yen and so on. So the median of the meteor test scores of students in math is 29.428. And so that is how we get the median of group data. I know there are a lot of things to remember, but solve lang ng solve and you will get the hang of it. Actually, it's not that difficult. Actually, madali siya, di ba? Ma-proseso lang, matrabaho lang sa table, and then sa pag-identify ng median class, and so on. Sa pag-input ng calculator, pwedeng diretso, or kung may doubts ka, pwedeng step by step, okay? Hanggang sa makuha mo yung final answer. So that is it guys for this video. I hope it helped, and please do um, tune in for my next video. Ang next video po natin ay yung pagkuha ng mode ng grouped data. So, see you guys in the next video.